See, look at this one's very rich in the black and white. You see that one? Cool. So, the, what the cat at the bottom is is blue. The cat at the top is sort of a what? Well, that's uh, that's would be like his son. He's uh, like the chain. He's like the temple cat. See, okay. this is where. See, he's like the guy who's guarding the temple here. And so, uh, I did a version that's kind of more straight. On blue, they were grayer. This is like maybe the blackest one of them, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but you can see that he's sitting, looking out, guarding, right? You know, he's got, he's got his a nice necklace on. on. Yeah. Because you know, in Egypt, the cat was considered uh, if you if you killed the cat either accidentally or or purposely, it, you were executed. And there was a battle the Romans won because the Romans some not the Romans but some. General, I think it might have been Phoenician, was in battle with the, the Egyptians. And they brought 3,000 cats that they let out on the battlefield, and the Egyptian army surrendered because they couldn't kill the cats. That's incredible. But anyway, here he is here, and then this is one I did. Uh, this is just a copy of one where he's... he's um, it's not the same as the other one? No, this one has a sky. See, there's no, the first one is just a pure drawing, right? Yeah. Uh, this cool. one I put a sky in it, see? Yeah, cool. This up in here, I, have, I did a couple of color ones like that. And then it was a kind of an okay uh, thing. This was the... We had that one up. Got another yeah. one? Yeah, and, and then, then, and then the, third, the third one is, oh, well then, this is how it's, I have 10 of these and I'm going to do like this. Are the they white. all different? Well, no, no, they're, they're, see the white? So the idea with this is, the idea with this is, is that, see, the, the young cat is fooling around. And like, the, it's serious stuff, man, because there's like Typhon the devil and evil and all that kind of stuff. And they have to like keep them away. So, so basically he's like training the young cat and he's a little pissed off. But the young cat's not paying attention. He's playing with that twig right down there. And there's a scarab there. It says RR. See the scarab right here? There's two of them. One, one right there uh, with a cross. And then there's another one right here on the back of the scarab. Right here. You can actually see it on this one. Right there. But see, he's not where, paying where, attention. Where is it? It's in there? It's What's a bug. It's neck? a scarab. He got, he got a, what is that he's, got, he's got an onk, just like his dad. It's just like the older cat. Oh, an onk. Oh, gotcha. All seeing that. They're protectors. And the Egyptic, they kept the, the Egyptians kept cats in all their temples. Because they believed, and of course, this is where we are now, actually, in our time today. We're there today. Actually, and then comes along. Who was the pope that killed all the cats? And that's other uh, black, you know, the, the dark ages, like the plague and all that, because they killed the cats. Do you remember that? So yeah, it was a pope that True. killed. He killed all the cats. True. I don't know, because some kind of superstition or something. He... Yeah. Crazy. Okay. People do crazy things, man. They get these wild ideas and they act on them. Oh yeah, and then then basically what happened when I was going to show you is the very end of it here. Um, Back. Uh, is the fact that, uh, and then I, these are where he's now a snake. Hold it up to, well, here, this way. The light, no, no, the other way. Turn, face, face the window. And then oh, see, that's just, yeah. Yeah, because you, you were, oh, you, your shadow was over it. It's okay. It's just that I want to. Well, this is a nice one because it has a, this one has a ghostly quality to it. Yeah, holding up like that. Yeah, you can hold it closer to yourself, but just towards the window. Yeah, you know I mean? yeah. Yeah, there you go, like yeah, the light hits it more. Yeah, yeah, because see, there basically what is happening is, is that, you know, the symbol for the cat, which was um, sort of um, dominance of truth and right over evil, so that the snake would be Typhon, which is considered evil, the devil of the devil, from the underworld. So the snakes come up and, you know, you have to... Someone has to subdue the, the the snake, which is definitely what he's thinking about doing right now. But it's a, it's a serious moment. I shouldn't next one. I, she should be eating them. <laughs> but anyway, that's good. All right, come on. So I, I don't want to get too much into what 
that symbol that would suggest. You know, we don't want to. Well, no, my my, right? my, well, my 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 thought for it was is to me it was sort of my statement of this is the, like today. Yeah. So, so to, 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 today, mean, today means is that you gotta make a stand. You know. Yeah. And it's, it's like, you know, okay, so the snake, it goes biblical. Uh, it's interesting, isn't it? It goes back to the Garden of Eden, you mm -hmm. know, with the snake. So what mm -hmm. can you see any connection? I mean, are, are well, you obviously, that? this was before that because this was the Egyptian. <laughs> ah. This was back. This all comes from the Egyptian stuff, really. This has been A lot of that BC, comes from, BC, comes, huh? well, it comes from, like, the 18th dynasty. That's where Akhenaten. Yeah. There's some people that believe that Akhenaten was actually Moses. You know, that Moses was actually a, a, a pharaoh. It's funny you would bring up Akhenaten because, you know, uh, his, there was interesting stories because there are stories where he, I think, didn't he die and his, or, or that she became a female? And no, the next pharaoh was a that there, they had that they had some kind of gene problem which gave him that, but what they determined really was is that was just a stylization of the period that he was... He went to kind of a naturalistic style, and there was a whole period of where they had him with the big, thick thighs, and so they had that he had either acromegaly or some kind of thing, and they've actually found his mummy and stuff, and he didn't have any of that stuff. So what was the fe like? What but, was but he was he was really the, the originator of the one god concept, uh, the idea yeah, of one exactly. god. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That would be Atom. And so uh, that's why this print I was calling it like uh, uh, Mui Mui Tatum. Mui Tatum at the gate. Mui Tatum. Of course, who would understand what that means? Nobody. <laughs> you know, really, you know, we get off on tangents. It's you know, interesting. You know, I love, I love, yeah. well, I love better, learning. Better, better, hey, what are you doing in there? You're making a lot of noise. Right? <laughs> What's going on? I'm almost done. What are you doing? Oh, wow, oh, she's this, cooking. Wait, 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 oh, you. Oh, this is oh, a... And then, and Pee-wee, are you okay, Pee-wee? Oh, you're going to show me? Here, let's come back. What do you say? It's okay. Uh, we'll do it on the plate. We'll see it on the plate. What are you going to say? Uh, oh, i got to show you the, I gotta show you the, the whale. I just minutes. shot this the other day. And then I got all of Europe, man. I have the Champs-Élysées people partying. Okay, we're going okay, to stop this story because we're, we're going to start a new story about their trip to Paris. Well, right? but, oh, no, actually, we went to Amsterdam and Paris. Yeah. Okay. Now, this, this right here is where I've just had this uh, okay. bulge, on, this big bubble on my thumb that comes from arthritis. Lanced. Hey. And I thought that was interesting. Hold, it, hold that picture, don't move it. Turn to me and go, who are you? Uh, Ricardo Rodriguez. <laughs> Rodrigo San. Better known as Rick Rodriguez, aka Rodrigo San. I say that. <laughs>